One of my favourite verses in the Bible is found in John chapter 1 verse 29 where John the Baptist sees Jesus coming towards him and he turns to those around him and says, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The full significance of those words about Jesus being the Lamb of God weren't fully understood by anyone until after Jesus had been raised from the dead. But throughout the whole Bible, and in particular the Old Testament Jewish sacrificial system of worship, God had been showing people the need for the blood to atone for sin. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22 clearly says that without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness. This was first seen in the Garden of Eden after Adam and Eve had sinned. They had tried to cover themselves with fig leaves. God himself made a covering of animal skin for them. An innocent animal had to be sacrificed, its blood shed to cover their sin. Later, when Abraham went on a journey up a mountain to sacrifice his son, Isaac, to God, and Isaac, the son, was wondering where was the lamb who was to be offered, his father told him that God himself would provide the lamb, and he did. Later again, on the night that the Israelites were released from slavery in Egypt, God told them to sacrifice a lamb and to put its blood on the lintels and doorposts of their houses. When the angel of death came, he would pass over every household that had applied the blood of the lamb. Then later again, when the law of God was given with its sacrificial system of worship, the people had to offer to God a lamb that was perfect and without blemish or defect as an offering for their sins. Of course, the blood of these lambs could never take away sin, but they were a picture or a foreshadowing pointing towards Jesus, the one true lamb of God. He is God's perfect lamb. And he came to offer not just another sacrifice in a long line of sacrifices. The Bible clearly teaches that Jesus offered himself, the Lamb of God, as the perfect and final sacrifice for sin on the cross. And all who trust in him are completely forgiven for all their sins. On the day that Jesus died on the cross, the disciples and others standing around were bewildered at what was happening to him. They didn't understand how the one that they believed was the Son of God, the Messiah, the Saviour, could be dying like a criminal on a Roman cross. But for one man, light, the light, broke through the darkness. On either side of Jesus, two robbers were being crucified. One of them was hurling insults at Jesus. His anger and his hatred were as intense at his death as he had been in his life. But the other robber knew that they were hanging because, as he put it, we are getting what our deeds deserve. But he recognised that Jesus had done nothing wrong. He was God's perfect lamb. He knew that this man, Jesus, was the king. And with his dying breaths, he simply asked, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus' answer to this man is so wonderful. His reply is the hope of the gospel for every single person who truly believes that Jesus is the Lamb of God. Jesus told this robber who asked for mercy, I tell you the truth. Today, did you hear that? Today, you will be with me in paradise. That is, 
the immediate and full assurance that Jesus offers to everyone who truly calls on his name. Do you have that complete assurance today? Some people think that you can never really know if you're going to heaven. It will depend on how you've lived your life. Do your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds? Or they think that you might have to go through a period of purgatory after you die. But that is not what the Bible teaches. The Apostle John says in 1 John 5.13, John said, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. The Apostle Paul spoke in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 8 of being absent from the body and present or at home with the Lord. It is both immediate and assured. This is the assurance that Jesus offers to you today. On this Good Friday, the blood that he shed on the cross is still effective today and it is the only thing that brings full forgiveness for your sins. He died on the cross for you to bring full forgiveness and full assurance today. Trust in him today.